Here we are going to look at the construction of a circumcircle for a given triangle ABC. Uh, we'll be considering that for these three cases where triangle ABC is an obtuse angle triangle or a right angle triangle or a acute angle triangle. And for generality we have taken all these three to be scalene triangles. Now to start with what is a circumcircle? As the name suggests something that goes around circumpasses or encompasses or encircles a given figure is called a circumcircle. So in case of the triangle, the circumcircle will be going through all the three vertices A, B, C like this. And the problem then can be boiled down to finding the center of this circle. Now if we are calling this circle as a circumcircle, then this center will be called as a circumcenter. Now for all circles we know one thing that points on its periphery like these points A, B, C now are equidistant from its center. So over here points A, B, C are equidistant from this point O, C the circumcenter. Now whenever you hear that that a point is equidistant from two other points you should think of perpendicular bisectors because that is one of the defining properties of perpendicular bisectors. Let us take a quick look. Here is a segment AB and we have already seen how to construct a perpendicular bisector to it. If you want to revise this construction, just click on this link and you can look at that clip. But for now, we are interested in only one property of this perpendicular bisector. I am going to take an arbitrary point on this perpendicular bisector and with that as a center I am going to draw a circle that passes through A and you can notice it is also passing through B and that is true for all the circles that we can draw with center on the perpendicular bisector and that passes through one point it will necessarily pass through the other point as well and that sort of proves that all points on the perpendicular bisector are equidistant from the two endpoints. And this is the property that's going to come handy in our construction. Let us try that trick on this triangle ABC. Uh, of course, we can use the geometric construction to build a perpendicular bisector, but uh, for speed, I'm going to use this tool to quickly draw perpendicular bisectors. So here is perpendicular bisector of side AB. So every point on this line is going to be equidistant from A and B. Then I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector of side AC and every point on that line is equidistant from A and C. So wherever they intersect like this point OC, that point is going to be at the same distance from A, B as well as C and therefore we can use it as a center to pass a circle through ABC. So by definition, this will be the circumcenter. Now we know a unique circle passes through three given points. So we don't have to prove that this is a unique uh, center, but just to hammer home that point, I'm going to draw the third perpendicular bisector. And see, it goes through the same point as expected. So let us just trim them, making this a nice figure like this. So this is how they meet. Let us do this for the other cases. So here is a right angle triangle. Okay, let's switch this off. And again, we'll be drawing perpendicular bisectors like before. One and two, and they exactly meet here. So that is going to be the circumcenter. And then the third case, the acute angle uh, triangle. We draw the three perpendicular bisectors. And here also, they meet in a single point, the circumcenter we were looking for. And of course, once we have that, we can draw the circumcircle, completing our construction. 